Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a Vecto.net video. My name is Lord Guthix, and I'll be teaching you guys how to do the enchantments that are on Vecto.net. Vecto.net uses a custom enchantment plugin that allows players to use different enchantments um, other than the default enchantments that Minecraft provides. So I'm going to be teaching you guys mainly um, how to put these enchantments together um, from uh, having separate pieces and then combining them. Most people on the server have said um, they don't understand the combining aspect of the enchantments. So I just want to start off by saying um, slash en list tells you all the enchantments that are used on Vecto. Um, I'm pretty sure if you type slash en info and then let's say uh, life leaves there. Yeah, it tells you uh, it tells you what exactly the enchantment does. So if you see here, it says life leech one to two. That means the levels only go up to two. Leeches some health off of the enemy. All right. So now that's that done, that you guys can see all the enchantments and whatnot, we're gonna go through some of the higher end enchantments that people have troubles getting because it takes multiple enchantments to get. Now, to get these enchantments, there's no special way to get them. Um, you just use a regular level 30 um, enchantment table. Uh, this, will, this will allow you to get custom enchantments only, only if you guys use the, um, the level 30. So if you come here, you put a sword in, uh, it'll pop up level 30. You'll only get custom enchantments if you use the level 30. So let's begin. We're going to need a few things. We're going to need diamonds, lapis, and uh, sticks for maybe a sword or axe or bow. And that's basically what you'll need. Uh, so if you're going to make uh, diamonds, uh, diamond chest plate, like that, you just. Oops, diamond chest plate, you just do that. Right. Oh, I didn't mean to make that many, but you just throw those in and you get level 30. You should, yeah, see, you get a, you get custom enchantments there. Regeneration is a custom enchantment. And at the bottom here, if you can see it, it's in kind of gray, a darker gray. It says, has a random chance to regen health. It'll only explain the custom enchantments. So the regeneration is the custom enchantment. And I do want to note that thorns is definitely not something you want on your PvP battle gear. It'll break your armor with axes. Alright. So, now that we have that, I'm going to put away this stuff here. Ignore all that clutter. I don't keep uh, organized very well. So first we're going to start with combinations. Combinations of different armors. Um, th there's smart ways to do it and then you could be you could do it the lazy way. So if you see here, there's three swords that are all compatible to work with each other. So we're going to pop those into our inventory. All right. Uh, that, that's a garbage sword. Not a garbage sword. <laughs> but here's three swords here. One, two, three. They all have custom enchantments. Now this would be our parts sword. It doesn't have the main sharpness or anything on it here. This is another part sword, and here is the big one. We want the sharpness, the unbreaking, the, f the knockback, the f fire aspect, the looting. This is just going to be a farming sword. If you don't have a lucky sword yet, um, lucky sword, lucky enchantment is to give you bonus XP for a slash level and um, MCMMO. So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to figure out the best way to combine these three swords so let me think here we have venom 1 venom 1 slowness 2 slowness 3 this sword has venom 2 now if I just put this sword on there that's still gonna be venom 2 so if you look over here sharp 1 plus sharp 1 equals sharp 2 so if we look here 
Venom 1 plus Venom 1 will make Venom 2. So we put those two together using an anvil. You have to use an anvil. So we just do this. We pull that out. And now this sword has Venom 2, Rejuvenation 2, Slowness 3. And those are the enchantments we'll be working with right now. So if we come back here and look. Now we have Venom 2 plus another Venom 2 is going to be Venom 3. That means Venom is maxed out because if you look here, Ian info Venom, Venom only goes up to 3 there. If you can look, look here, Venom only goes to 3. Alright, so let's finish this sword off. Awesome. Now we have complete maximum, uh, we have capped levels, but we do have room for one more custom enchantment. The custom enchantment cap on Vecto is four. You can only have four maximum enchantments. So you could throw on, let's see, what could we throw on there? If you ever get a lucky sword, you could put lucky on there. Um, let's see, we could put blindness. At this point, I don't think it really matters because this sword will be used for farming anyways. You don't want rejuvenation on your combat swords. So you just do this, you farm, farm your blazes, you will, you'll one shot them. There we go. Blazes do have a lot of life. You can set up a strength beacon there. A strength 2 beacon if you have enough resources to make a, a 9x9 beacon. This will kill your blazes really nicely. Now if you're fortunate enough, if you look at my sword here, to get a Lucky 2 sword, if you see down at the bottom there between Venom and Slowness, there's Lucky 2. So it says, gives more XP when you kill an entity. So if you look here, I don't know if you'll notice, but I definitely gain levels much faster with this sword than the one that we just made. Even though we killed them as fast. So yeah, the Lucky 2 swords. Yeah, they get levels much faster. Almost W amount. Alright, yeah, we'll need a few levels. So, if we look here, same thing goes for a combination of these guys. Now, I know what you're thinking. These chest plates have thorns, and that's exactly what we don't want. But I'm just using this as an example. If you can, try to get chest plates without thorns, or else they're going to break your armor really fast in PvP battles. Axes, axes have a very strong, strong uh, bonus armor and armor penetration. It's just, it's crazy against armor. <laughs> Shadow armor, yeah, it's really, it's really, it's OP, honestly. It makes swords um, almost not worth using. So again here, the re rejuvenation three there, insulation, insulation. So we want to put the regeneration on. So let's get this. Let's get this. We're gonna put that there. We need a few more levels. Use our lucky two sword to get those levels real fast. Look at that, that's excellent. This is XP at its finest, folks. All right, that should be enough levels. So we take our big old chest plate. See, now it only has rejuvenation two, bummer, right? Well, lucky enough, we enchanted a chest plate with rejuvenation three. This is why you don't throw away your part. I like to call it parts. I call them part pieces, so I put them put them away in random chests, and I'll go looking for a part if I need one, so I don't have to keep enchanting diamond chest plates just in case I already have one kicking around. Don't throw away your garbage. <laughs> it might be useful. All right, so here we go. I don't throw away anything. There we go, and we have a max chest plate. Now you're like, gothics. That chest plate has blast protection. That's garbage. It doesn't even have projectile protection. Well, that's when the lovely shop comes in handy. So, 
or even books. Books are really good. You can enchant books if you can get a protection four book, which is the maximum uh, protection you can get without getting a rare crate. Yeah, you just can buy one from shop or you can enchant a, um, you can enchant a protection book there. So you can put, put a book in there and get protection. But in this case, we're just going to buy it to shorten our video here. So we'll go here, look for protection, protection 4. It's pretty pricey, it's 4.43k. Not a lot of newer players will have that kind of money. Alright. Let's go to the end bill again. So, I think you put... No, I'm being a noob. <laughs> We're going to go back to that chest with all those unused chest plates. We're going to go here. We're going to go put the default chest plate in there. Now it's a protection four. Now you want to do that. Put that in there. See that? Perfect. Hold on. I'll explain it a little bit more clear when I get the levels. I thought I had enough levels before the video started, but enchanting is tedious when it comes to levels. So, we want to get rid of that blast protection. Unfortunately, you can't add blast protection and protection for it doesn't work like that. Only on rare armor. Alright, so we put the protection four in the left slot, and we put the blast protection in the other slot. Now Go figure, our protection for chest plate somehow is broken. Now let's take the middle item out, put it in again to see four enchantments. Alright. Let's put this in. Perfect. Now this shouldn't be too expensive. Alright. So we have a protection for unbreaking three, thorns three, rejuvenation three. So we're maxed out on custom enchant enchantments. Technically, this is the best enchantments you can get on a chest plate. Rejuvenation, well fed two, insulation three, and regeneration three. They're not difficult to get if you have the diamond supply, you have the lapis supply, you have the XP. If you can just keep enchanting, you'll get these all day, every day, as long as you keep grinding. It's great. These are great uh, chest plates without thorns. Don't get the thorns. Ugh. Oh, those are garbage. These are poop. Throw the poop away. Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Alright, let's go up here. Next. Um, Alright. Perfect. Um, right. Mm, what was it doing? Rejuvenation. Everybody. Books are amazing. This is how I made Sharpness 5 Rejuvenation 3 books. I mean swords. And that's that. And I sold them just like that. It's People are like, how do you do it? Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Well, folks. I'm going to show you how to do stuff like that. First, I need to stop being boosted and remember where I put all my stuff. Alright. So, we're going to put sticks here. Diamonds. Get a bunch of swords. Oh, look at all those swords. Kind of cringe. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I'm going to put some swords away so I can pick that stuff up. Alright, there we go. Now, right here, we got a Sharpness 5 book. And you go, well, I don't want to waste this book. I'm trying to get rejuvenation on... Like right here. Here's a perfect example. You have night vision, respiration, and rejuvenation. Now you can't just put rejuvenation on a blank sword. Like you can't just go here, put a sword in, and then put your rejuvenation. It just, it's not gonna work, right? So, what you do is you get another book, or you can put, or get a sword, I do believe. Let's see. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Okay, well, this is the way I do it, anyways. So, I see that I have a Rejuvenation 3 book. So I go ahead and enchant myself a Sharpness 5 book or buy one from store. So what I do now is I add these together. 
Of course, they're going to cost levels. Erg. No. Not what I want. So, this is the great part about enchanting is levels. Levels, levels, levels. So we do this. Boom. We got a shirt five buck with rejuvenation three. Now we can just pop our sword in there, put our book in there. Now we're going to have a sharpness five rejuvenation three sword. Isn't that mind blowing? Oh my goodness. We just made a book that wasn't compatible for a sword. Compatible for a sword. Amazing. You can do the same thing for bows. You can do the same thing for armor. Like, hmm. Look here. You do that. You can put Unbreaking 3 on anything and it will be compatible. So you go here. Get some levels. Find your Unbreaking 3 book. Look at that. You get your, un three, unbra bleh, your Unbreaking 3 book here. Put that. Our anvil broke. Oh no. Oh dear. What are we going to do without our anvil? I know what we're going to do is we're going to spend a crap ton of money. On um, where are anvils and stinky buggers? Um, decorations, yes. Ah, uh -huh. all right. So, look at this. 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 Oh, oh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? We forgot our bow. <laughs> all right, let's try it again. Now, this is exactly what you never thought you'd ever see in your entire life so oh i do remember soulbound can work as well it's a custom enchantment which is a pain in the butt but you can't kill yourself with the bow and you can remove the soulbound soulbound works as well i now have an unbreaking rejuvenation bow it has no damage look how awesome sauce that is all right <laughs> so yeah that's it's really simple to get these simple builder stuff it, it's really really easy to take parts off of a book and put it onto another item so you don't have to waste your books because I know how annoying books can be so if you look here power uh, that re that rejuvenation right there that I just randomly had in my I could use this book for a sword or a piece of armor anything really like um Let's go here. Uh, we have a Rejuvenation 2 book. Right. So we can. I need, I need space. I need space. I need space. Urgh. We can go to shop. I'm very bad for buying stuff on shop. We can go here. I'm breaking. Um, put the books together. Boom, boom. Money better. See that it'll just instantly remove the stuff. Now we have a building part. These, this method is to make building pieces, and building pieces is what's going to make your good stuff. I like to salvage things and to recycle things. It makes things cheaper, so you're not spending a crap ton of money on enchantments or enchanting in general. Because diamonds, they do add up. If you don't have an epic two pickaxe. You can't buy cheap diamonds, so an epic two pickaxe. You're asking, well, it's an it's a pickaxe with fortune five. You go to shop, you can buy a stack of diamond ore here for sixty four for four point eight k. Mine it, get almost quadruple the amount you bought back, and sell it to the kids. So yeah, that's basically a nightmare of a guide on how to do custom enchantments. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm trying to see if I forgot anything. So these are the enchantments here. Lucky, Life Leech, I suspect multi-shot, multi-ship. Only go up to level two. Yeah, so remember, let's recap. Level 30 is the only level you're gonna get for custom enchantments. You need at least 30 levels to do custom enchantments if you get yourself a lucky two sword you'll be able to grind those levels much faster now I will mention 
at the end of this video that slash p warp is a great place to find places that players have made for other players to benefit from usually so I myself I have three player warps one is a blaze grinder and a shop and iron profit so we're gonna go to the blaze grinder here now in my first video this is where I introduced myself but this is where players go it's pretty late right now there's not a lot of people on but this is where players go to grind blazes and get lots of levels and honestly this is probably one of the best methods to get levels early on until you get your own money and your own spawners you guys can come here and just whack it out uh, the owners will give you trust uh, you can I I offer anvils e chest chest no I don't offer you my chests uh, the crafting table enchantment table I let you use the blazes uh, yeah so it's great I have a shop below that you guys can buy blaze rods and profit from them with slash shop well yeah enchantment is pretty much handed to you early uh, with people that make player warps so and it's a great it's honestly a great way to make money if you guys want to um, know the prices of all the enchantments I will leave a link below the link will have um, all the enchantments I have mapped out over the year I've been playing back though I've kind of uh, configured some street prices it's not exact but it is approximate so you guys can go off the prices there anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video leave a like or a comment maybe even subscribe to my channel it'd be greatly appreciated I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next video bye now